Hi there everyone, this is Ryan from Unearthed Podcast, here with you again today with another Scottish town of the day. And of course it's Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's Day to you all out there as well. Today we're looking at Kirkupri. Now Kirkupri is a strange name, often mispronounced, but it is located on my trusty map at the very bottom down here on the Solway Firth between Scotland and England. And it's just this little inlet you can maybe see here, okay? So it's on the mouth of the River Dee and it is quite close to England. It's also only about four miles away from the Irish Sea, making it quite a strategic place in history. However, However, the name itself from Gaelic is Kilkuthberry and essentially means the chapel of Cuthbert. And St Cuthbert's remains when he died in 687 were removed from Linda's farm to Kukupri until eventually they were buried in County Durham. That's where the name comes from essentially, it means the chapel of Cuthbert. But the Kirkupri to toll booth has quite an interesting prisoner in its history as well. As a prison, it once held a man called John Paul Jones. And John Paul Jones was a sailor for Kirk from Kirkbean, which is nearby. And essentially as a sailor, he kind of rose through the ranks until eventually he became shipmaster. But he had a notorious reputation for being quite cruel. And after a mutiny on one of his ships, one of his sailors died and he was imprisoned inside Kirkupri toll booth. However, Finally, he was released on bail, and when he was released on bail, people kind of said to him, you know, that was a bit crap, maybe you should leave Scotland for a while. So he left Scotland and finally moved all the way over to America, where in America he joined the American Revolution against the British and would gradually rise for the ranks to become the founder of the American Navy. So John Paul Jones is a very famous figure in American history, but he was once imprisoned in Kukupri Tollbooth. So go check it out, another beautiful time to see in Scotland, folks, again when things open up. I hope you're doing grand, and I'll see you tomorrow for another Scottish Time of the Day. Cheerio, bye.